So this is the battery that I was working on last week and you'll remember that I welded the nickel strips and soldered these copper links onto there to join the parallel strings together in series and now I need to finish welding the other side and um, solder the copper links on this side as well to complete the series connections. Um, but you'll probably notice that I actually have two of these batteries. This one is for my friend Jay who tends to ride his e-bike pretty hard and these cells are rated at 20 amp discharge uh, continuous each. This battery is for me and you'll notice it has a different color of cell. Um, these are higher capacity but lower discharge so each one of these can handle about 5 amps continuous. So this should be fine for me because I don't ride my bike, my bike quite as hard as my friend does. Um, anyway I need to obviously start on this one. I haven't even started welding the strips on here. But um, I wanted to show you guys something. I had taken this top piece off to remove um, what was originally one brown cell out of every five cells. I figured I'd just replace it so that it was all the same color. Um, and anyway, it was really hard to get off of there and I actually had to break it off. And so I needed to reprint one and this one failed and I don't know if you can see where it failed. You can kind of see the, the pattern print in there. So that's the infill of the plastic. It never did finish it and give a smooth, a smooth finish like that. Anyway, so it made me realize that this really could just be um, half, half the thickness. So I think I'm going to modify the model slightly. Anyway, so putting that aside, really, um, besides uh, kind of welding, um, welding the end of this and soldering some more copper links on there, I also need to find a bolt or multiple bolts that will go through here and a nut to put on the end. So I think I'm going to take this one down to the hardware store um, because this one is basically a death trap at this point because if I was to cross any metal on this side I'd probably get some pretty severe sparks. Um, let me show you the piece that's going to go here. Alright, here it is. So this piece is going to go here. So on here it would cover up all of these copper links. Um, yeah. It seems to go on there pretty well. So the bolt will have to go through here all the way to here. So this is about 70, it's probably going to be 75 to 80 millimeters um, plus some because there'll be a nut on the end. Anyway, let's see if we can find something that'll work. Where's the first? 